Sure. I got a special guest with me. Number Jack Fishing. What's up? What's up, guys? What's going on, brother? What's going on, buddy? All right. So today we we got some coffee, and uh, we got a special unboxing from uh, my buddy right here. He's going to talk about the the Skyhawk. So what this is, it's kind of like an off-brand of of Dewa, as you can see right there. It's got the Dewa sticker on it. But this is the Skyhawk Pro Arm W100L. And everything else is written in some other language I don't know. So, so now I'm a big Dewa fan. Do you guys hear me talk about them all the time? I love Dewa. I stand behind it. I trust it, and I've never had issues with it. So, I seen this, and I was skeptical at first because all I seen was Skyhawk Pro Arm. I want to pick it up and actually looked at because it's a nice looking reel. When I picked it up and looked at it, I found the Dewa sticker. That's when I did the research. This is a Dewa reel. So. And it's only available here. I haven't been able to find it anywhere stateside. So let's see what we got. Real. We've got the destructions right here. But I can't read. And that's probably a good thing. Because like I said, they're the destructions. Let's get the box out of the way. Okay, so. Plastic packaging. Nothing special. Anybody who's been around long enough understands plastic bags don't save nothing. So here we go. This is the actual reel. So let's get you a close look at that. It's nice, shiny, brand new, never used, good condition. And if you look, there is the day with sticker. I don't know if you can see that on that one. I think you can. So now the colors aside, I'm not a big fan of this particular shade of red, but it goes with the whole motif of being a lumberjack, black and red. So it's very smooth. It's a, I think it's a seven and one, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, seven and one. Magnetic brakes here. Yep. And I, well, I've used this, this reel. I use it a lot, actually, and I used it today on earlier videos that I shot earlier today. Uh, Swamp Dragon has the same reel. And I don't know how he feels about it, but I, I love it. Uh, it's got a good action. It's got a good good throw to it. Um, the knob here, your spool tension knob, always stays wherever you put it. It doesn't jingle around. You don't have to reset it every 300 casts or anything like that. The disc brakes that are on this, the magnetic disc brake that's on this, I've noticed is, where are we at? So we're in between, if you look, you're in between two numbers there on your knot. So you've got basically two clicks before you actually change the setting of your brake. So, and then, you know, obviously the through hole spool makes it easy to tie your line on. Super love that. Um, the drag on this, I think is set for like 20 pounds, which is pretty common. It's pretty standard for, for um, you know, lower grade reels and everything. But other than the drag, this thing is a beast. I have caught large snakeheads with this. Um, there's a picture floating around on Instagram right now of me with a good size snake head. This is the reel I caught it on. So, you know, and, and I mean, all in all, this is, this is a fabulous, fabulous reel. I have nothing bad to say about it other than the color scheme. I personally, I love the black and red combination. This, this, um, it's a color, the combination that I always enjoy. Um, so when I bought it, I bought it at Sapa, and um, the guy took the box and he just gave me the reel. I'm like, okay, that's that's fine, whatever. And I, I didn't notice it was a day one at all at first. So then a, a few a few days later or maybe a week later, um, lumberjack bought this on, on, on sale or something. How much yeah, about yeah. it? Like $60 uh, or something? Yeah, 60 American. Yeah, $60 American and whatever. And uh, we're talking to each other, right? He's like, yeah, I got this day war, $60 and whatever. And I'm like, Is, there's no way you buy a day war wheel for $60. Because day war, um, it, it's, you know, it's, usually it's, it's, it's up there. It's, day was up there. Yeah, the price is, is usually pretty Yeah, pretty 100, high. 150 Yeah. So I'm like, there's no way you bought a sixty dollar wheel, a sixty dollar day wheel. There's no way, and it's, it's like, yeah, there's there's a sticker on it. I'm like, oh, come on, man. And then he, he got me curious, and I checked my wheel, and 
Yeah, it has a there was sticker <laughs> on it, but so it's it's like okay, is it is it there or is it is it not? Is is it a fake or not? So I, I did some research and yeah, sure enough, it is it is a there was real. It is on their website and yeah, it's legit. And I, I like it. I, I don't have any really issues with it, but I I don't have braid on mine. I have, I got mono. And I got like all kind of burn nests. So yeah. So going from from his issues with the mono, I use you know forty to fifty five, sometimes sixty five pound braid always. Like that is my go to line, and this thing handles it like a dream. Like I've not had. I mean, yes, we we all bird nest from time to time, but I, I think I've got fifty two pound on mine right now, uh, multicolor, and I'm I'm casting little grubs like this you know clear across the lake with it and not an issue and that's at quarter ounce sinker sometimes half ounce sinker depending on how small my grub is like today uh some of the videos i shot today i was using this this series of reel with the 50 with a 52 pound braid and i had a quarter inch grub on a one-out hook with a half ounce sinker and she just shot like there's no tomorrow and even when i have my lipless crankbait on there still just like there's no tomorrow now it doesn't have the the look at me sound that the the shimano slx dc has but it's got it's, it's got a, a voice all its own when you cast it so you'll hear the it, yeah. i mean it's not as pronounced as the shimano let's say it that way i mean it's, it's got a good good ring to it when it casts but it's not it's not that whizz that you get from the shimano it's a little quieter but you, you can still i mean it it speaks to you when you cast so uh, we got foam grips here, hardened EVA. Look at that. I mean, there's nothing really special about them. But when your hands are wet, because you're slaying fish like I do during the summer, when you're slaying fish like I do during the summer, uh, I mean, these are these are great. So compared to everything else I've used in Korea, this has been by far my favorite reel for, I'm going to say, last two years. In the last two years, this this has trumped everything that I have right now. So, and I've got a couple of Abu Garcia Max series, uh, some Lou's. You, you guys know I'm pretty loyal to Lou's, but when it comes to Dewa, like that's my jam. And this right here, guys, you know if you're if you're trying to ball on a budget, this is real for you. So, yeah, I mean, for the price, I think this is an excellent oil, and I with lumberjack. I think uh, I would recommend it to anybody that arrived here in Camp Humphreys, Korea. Uh, this is cheap, but it, it, it goes to work. It, it gets the job done. So, yeah, man, I, I think uh, I think it's it's a great deal. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, for the price, you can't expect uh, you can expect much more than this. I mean. It does the job. It, it is, yeah, it's a great wheel. Um, oh, okay. yeah, go ahead. One thing I forgot to mention is it does have the door lock button right there on the side, on the bottom side of the reel. So, now it hasn't happened to me yet, but I'm that guy that when, I, when I'm when i using a crawfish or if I'm shaking a worm, even if I'm just dancing a frog across the water, like I engulf the reel with my hand. That button, literally the way i hold it sits right there between my fingers so if you're not i mean if you're trying to do some stuff like that and you're not real good at palming an entire reel you might hit that button but i mean unlike some older models you touch that button all you want and unless you're prying on the door plate yeah it's, it's not going it's anywhere not, i mean it's I'll not turning it upside down for you it's not gonna open it's it's not coming yeah out. so and I mean that's that to me is is a sign of quality there because I know a lot of different real companies that have the same button same spot and when you when you golf them like this you know lightly touch that button not know it and then when you go to get the action going and get to playing that door will go pitchoom, right off the side and, and then you got all kinds of different problems oh, happening man. for you so yeah, that, I just that wanted to point happened. that out yeah that never happened to me so. you better not so, you better yeah, knock on wood for that one. That's yeah. a, right, that's, and it always happens when you have your biggest fish. Yeah, that's crazy. Always. 
Well, we, so. with that, I mean, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, hope you enjoy the. Yeah, the, I, I mean, I hope this was time. informative, and it, it gives you a better perspective. Just because it doesn't, you know, have the laser engraving or anything from Daywa, it is still a Daywa reel. So there is quality in this little guy, for for the the price point that it sets at. So I think here it was like just over or just under I should say just under 70,000 won which is like 60 bucks at home so do the math uh, for what it is what you're getting it's a good it, it's good weight I mean it's not too heavy obviously but it's not super light either everything inside is metal this is the beast this is your 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 low ball price point beast and I hope that this has been informative enough for you to make an educated decision as to what it is you want to buy so guys day with Skyhawk Skyhawk Pro Arm. You gotta love it. Can't miss it. And honestly, since I've been here, I can't do without it. So, Lumberjack Fishing, Swamp Dragon, we out. <laughs>